Frost Blaster. A tower that was released in the 2019 Christmas events recently got a pretty insane rework. The rework features more damage, faster fire rate, higher range, better freezing, and most importantly, a pierce. I won't get into all the details, but basically Frost Blaster is able to pierce 3 enemies at base level and 7 at max. This pierce is not the only good thing that Frost Blaster features, but he is also able to, get this, freeze enemies. Frost Blaster sounds like a really good tower if you ask me, but how does he compare to Sledger? Sledger is a tower that was obtainable by beating the Outpost 32 event. Though the event was quite difficult, you were given a really good tower upon beating it. But what does Sledger do? Sledger is an event tower that has a low range but high damage output. Although Sledger used to be more of a support tower who was able to freeze enemies with a single swing, he is still really good in my opinion. Being able to hit 5 enemies with one swing and dealing double damage to frozen enemies is nothing to cry about. Since Sledger deals 110 damage at max, you could potentially deal 1100 damage with one swing, if you combine that with the pierce and double damage of course. Now that you've seen what both towers are all about, which one is better? Frost Blaster costs 850 cash to place. Because of that, you are able to place Frost Blaster on Wave 2 if you're playing Solo Molten. If you use Frost Blaster's Pierce to the best potential, he is a really good early game tower. The only thing that Frost Blaster struggles with is bosses. But if you simply get a level 3 Frost Blaster, which altogether costs 5,600 buckaroos, you can quite easily deal with bosses. The same cannot be said about Sludger. Sludger is arguably one of the worst towers for early game. You seriously have to pay 800 cash for a low range tower that can only hit one enemy every 1.75 seconds. The only thing that Sludger can do better than Frost Blaster in is killing bosses. Sludger can kill high health enemies quite a bit faster than Frost Blaster. But that price, yikes. Altogether, I would say that early game is a point for Frost Blaster. For late game, Frost Blaster does pretty good. Although he shines more in early to mid game, Frost Blaster still does a good job. Since Frost Blaster has a placement limit of 10, you are somewhat limited to the amount of freezing you can do. To be honest, you really only need 3 to 5 max Frost Blasters for late game. Getting more than that is just a waste of money and you are really only doing it for the damage instead of the freeze. Sledger on the other hand excels at late game. Getting one of these bad boys maxed is a game changer. But you know what's better than one max Sledger? 6 max Sledgers! Because of Sledger's horrendous placement limit of 6, you are really only able to get 6 of these suckers. But that's not saying that it makes a tower bad because they can deal so much damage while also being able to freeze enemies. I think we know the obvious winner of late game, which means the score is now 1-1. One one. Frost Blaster is a really good freezing tower. Being able to almost freeze enemies permanently is a super good ability that Frost Blaster holds. Look at this dude! Frost Blaster is actually able to freeze enemies from base level, unlike his competitor. Sledger kind of sucks at freezing. Although he does have a multi-hit, it takes him two swings to actually freeze an enemy. And if you know anything about Sledger, sometimes those swings takes ages. On top of that, Sledger is only able to actually freeze enemies at level 3, which costs 7,350 cash. I am pretty sure Frost Blaster wins this one, with the score being 2 to 1. Frost Blaster is a pretty reliable tower. Although he does need help with higher health enemies, he is able to pick off lower health enemies quite easily. On top of that, he gets a lead detection at base level and hidden detection at level 1. The only unreliable trait that Frost Blaster has is that it fully relies on its pierce for DPS. If it only hits one enemy at a time, Frost Blaster is going to do significantly worse than if it was hitting 7. Sledger is also a decently reliable tower. Although he has no hidden detection, he can indirectly hit hidden enemies, but is very unreliable. One thing you can rely on Sledger to be good at is SHRED HIGH HEALTH ENEMIES! Tank, gone, warded, gone, necromancer boss, not gone. As long as the enemy doesn't have freeze immunity, Sledger is going to shred. Altogether, I think Frost Blaster is more reliable since it has hidden detection. If it didn't have hidden detection, I would say Sledger is more reliable, but that just isn't the case. Okay, I think this one is a no-brainer. <clears throat> Four to one. Frost Blaster is good when it comes to freezing enemies. Being able to almost permafreeze is just too good to pass up on. 
but as I said earlier, if it is only hitting one enemy at a time, it's not very supportive. Sledger, on the other hand, is really good when it comes to support. Though it used to be better at it, it is still super good. If you place a bunch of sledgers close together like I did in this clip, you can create a roadblock for the zombies and very few will actually cross it. Because of this, I think sledger is better at support. Overall, Frost Blaster is better than Sledger, but that isn't saying that Sledger is bad. Sledger is still a very viable option and excels at killing bosses and creating roadblocks. Frost Blaster, on the other hand, excels at early game, freezing, reliability, and cost. With all that said, consider liking and subscribing. I do really appreciate it if you do. Also, I don't know if you guys want me to do more videos like this where I compare towers against each other. Let me know in the comments or in my Discord server. See ya.